Hey everybody, Pete Greco with Productive Corporation. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you real quick how you can prevent MFA cookie authentication theft using CCleaner. So what are we really talking about here? Pass the cookie attacks. What this does is allows a hacker who's infiltrated your browser to steal both your password as well as authentication cookies. So once you authenticate to your Salesforce or M365 or Google Workspace or whatever, if you're going to be able to access that website throughout the day, that authentication is stored in a cookie on the browser. Hackers have been able to figure out how to grab that password as well as that MFA cookie and then log into your account as you without being required to authenticate again. Now, there is a uh, shelf life on that, but it's uh, pretty effective at bypassing MFA. So how can we do that with CCleaner? Okay, so to get started with that, what I like to do is create a group policy that I can apply to big groups of machines or all of my machines, however I want to do it. So you can see I've got a group labeled Pete's Machines, and I can see which machines are a part of this group. I can change the name. There's a whole bunch of stuff I can do. But what I mainly want to do here is make sure that on all of my browser settings that I've got cookies checked and saved passwords. The other thing that you might want to investigate, and especially if you've been using CCleaner already, you might have whitelisted some cookies from long ago that you would see listed here. And if you're seeing things that you require MFA for, like M365 or Google Workspace or any, any financial accounts or HR accounts or whatever, you might want to delete saving those cookies because that's going to store those MFA tokens, um, right? The other thing that I want to make sure that I'm getting rid of is passwords. Now, we require everybody to use a password manager, and we want to prevent passwords from getting stored in the browser as much as we can so that they can't be exfiltrated. And then the last thing that we want to do is set up a schedule to have this run periodically, and I like to do it daily. Sometimes I like to set this up at startup uh, for a few different users so that as they're booting, this is running and getting their machine clean, uh, one of my favorite things to do. And so I run it at a time when I know everybody is around. Such low overhead, nobody's going to notice what's, what's going on or that anything is happening. Any changes that I make, I want to make sure that I hit save changes. For every window that I'm on or every group that I'm on, you need to hit save changes for every area that you're on. Once I've got it set up and applied to my machines, it's going to run on schedule, so I don't need to come back here. But if I ever need to, then I'm going to be able to, whoops, then I'm going to be able to come into any of my machines, and I'm just going to check on the personal machine that I'm running right now, and I can run a clean on any one or multiples of those. Now, if you want to see the data that's there before you clean anything off, you can run an analyze. But because we've been using this for uh, nearly 10 years, I feel comfortable just running uh, the clean right off, and I'm going to be able to see what's going on here. And so you can see how quick this is running. I'm running on a uh, virtual session on my Hyper-V Windows 11 workstation, uh, right? So I'm shared resources here. I'm shared Internet. Uh, and uh, you're going to see how quick this runs without uh, too much hassle. On my agent, I can hide the agent so the end users can't see anything. If I don't do that, they're not going to notice that anything is happening anyway. And you can see we just cleaned off 875 meg worth of data. And this is a brand new build, uh, so I'm guessing that some of that is patch data that's been left behind or temporary files. And I can come in here and see the final uh, results of this. And so you can see we've gotten rid of uh, quite a few uh, cookies on uh, Internet Explorer. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or would like to see uh, a full demo of CCleaner Cloud, please let your productive corp rep know and we'd be happy to help you out. Thanks and have a great day.